Hello and welcome back to The Note, back in New York this week where I gather a lot of things have been happening at the FT in my absence. As for stock markets, it's been a really bad day across the world and that's because markets have been taking their cue from China, some very poor macroeconomic data over the weekend and as a result the Shanghai Composite is down some 11% compared to its high on Friday. That raises concerns about the possibility of a financial crisis in China. Once more, it raises concerns about growth. And as a result, you've seen uh, the stock market gains that we'd seen for the year almost eradicated, at least when you measure them in dollars. If you take a look at the S&P 500 here in the US, it's down now up only 0.4% for the year. If you take a look at the FTSE Euro First 300 in Europe, it's up barely 2%. Spain's IBEX index is actually down in dollars. Now, why does China matter so much? It's largely because of the impact it has uh, on expectations for global growth. The great proxy for this would be the uh, industrial metals market. And industrial metals, as measured by Bloomberg, as you can see here, have fallen very significantly recently. They are now lower than they have been at any time since March 2009, at the very bottom of the financial crisis post Lehman, a very concerning signal. That does play, however, into the other big event for this week, which is the forthcoming meeting of the Fed's FOMC on Wednesday. Lower commodity prices affect inflation expectations, as we can show you with this chart, which shows you uh, expected inflation for the next 10 years as derived from the US Treasury market. And you can see that uh, Inflation expectations now are very much lower than they were back in September 2012 when the Fed launched QE3. Many people called it QE Infinity, the last big program of bond purchases designed to push up inflation expectations. On the face of it, it does seem very strange when we are back in a world where people are worried about deflation, about stalling economic growth. It does seem very strange that we might be on the verge of a first rise in rates. That could play very much into expectations as we wait for the Fed on Wednesday.